Wow. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. No, the first one is you guys are doing a great job. And the second one is it calls for prayer. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. <laughs> okay. All right. Now. Wonderful. In this few moments, I want to just share with you something that we are ending with. Because I want you to be very strong about this part. Second Chronicles 26, verse 3. The whole camp is a prophetic camp, so I believe that Sixteen years old was Uziah when he began to reign. And he reigned 52 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jecolia of Jerusalem. Verse 4. He did what was right in the sight of the Lord according to all that his father Amaziah did. Verse 5. And he sought God in the days of Zachariah. Wow. Who had understanding in the visions of God. So in the days of Zachariah. So as I am with you. Take me to be Zachariah. And you are the king Uziah. And as I have understanding in the visions of God. I am prophesying to you. About the work of God. And the Bible says that. And as he sought God. Put the scripture back. As he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. So as you seek God, I'm commissioning you to go out of this place to seek God. And as you seek God, God is going to cause you to prosper. Now notice verse, um, verse 8. And the Ammonites gave gifts to Uziah. People are going to give gifts to you as you seek the Lord. Now, this is what happened to uh, Uziah, the king. People gave him gifts. Sometimes you even see people giving gifts that instead of giving gift to somebody who really needs it, they are giving the gift to somebody who doesn't need it. Amen. Amen. So I prophesy that gifts will be given to you even by your enemies. Amen. As you seek the Lord. Amen. Then asking Hosea sought the Lord, his name spread abroad. Your name will become more and more famous and important. As you seek the Lord. Wow. wow. You know, I, 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 fine protocol doesn't let me say some things. You know, I want to do so many things. I will, that's why I'm quiet. Because I can just, should I say, should I say, should I say? So I decided not to say but his name spread abroad. Today somebody mentions your name. Your name is Thomas something. Nobody knows you. But soon you'll be known in Jesus' name. Look at verse 8 again. Beautiful. That's the second. These are all the blessings of seeking the Lord. Number three. He strengthened himself. You are going to become stronger. God is going to make you strong. That's the third. So number one, you are going to prosper. Number two, people are going to give gifts to you. Amen. Number three, your name is going to be to spread abroad. Amen. Number four, you become stronger. He said he strengthened himself exceedingly. Amen. Number five, in Second Chronicles 
chapter 26 and verse 9 moreover Uzziah built towers in Jerusalem at the corner gate and at the valley gate and the turning of the wall and fortified them you become a builder Amen. just like King Uzziah who sought the Lord in the days of Zechariah you are going to be a builder of many things Amen. you know God has made me a builder amazing recently the president of Ghana asked some people some pastors to help to build a national cathedral and he asked me to be one of the people to, to, to be involved that's an honor yes you build you build your own house you build houses and by the time you are done you will have an estate I said you will have an estate I said you have an estate everywhere you go on a mission you will build a house there how many blessings do you have so far five number six you will build in the most amazing places Bible says also he built towers in the desert hey! towers in the desert and dig many wells for he had much cattle both in the low country and in the plains husbandmen for he loved husbandry so God is going to cause you to build number six in the most difficult places. Amen. People will wonder, how come you are able to build over here? Wow. wow. One of the countries, I don't want to mention the name of the country. You know, it's not a Christian country at all. The man who gave us the permit to build he said come tomorrow let me issue the permit I don't know whether you will get such a permit when I'm not here wow. yes you will never get such a permit to build a church in this country when I'm not here so come tomorrow and he gave the permit he said this is the permit to build this church 99% they are not Christians not Christians. <laughs> Wow. wow you'll see pictures soon Amen. you will build in the desert places where no one expects you to build the next one you have much cattle he had much cattle in the look and which means you know that's the, the symbol of prosperity like it's like money in their time it's like much cattle in the low country and in the plains that means that your investments will be in different places Amen. wow for he loved husbandry how many blessings of Uzziah do you have seven, seven. number eight you will have a host of fighting men Amen. hey Amen. verse 11 moreover Uzziah had a host of fighting men that went out to war by bands according to the number of their accounts by the hand of jail the scribe and Messiah the ruler under the hand of Ananiah one of the king's captains and the whole number of the chief of the fathers of the fighting men were 2,600 and under their hand was an army 300,000 7,500 that made war with mighty power to help the king against the enemy God is going to give you a strong defense against the enemy a host of fighting men so not only was king Uzziah for 52 years he was well defended and secured you are going to be established and secured by the Lord as you seek him as king Uzziah sought the Lord God made him to prosper God gave him a host of fighting men God gave him much cattle God made him build towers. God made him build in the desert. God blessed him. Oh, 
How many? And he lived for, he reigned for 52 years, one of the longest reigns of the king. Some of them could reign as short as seven days. He reigned for 52. Can you imagine somebody is in power for 52 years? And he started reigning when he was only 16 years old. I mean, even Tony Blair, who is one of the most successful prime ministers, he was there for only 10 years. He's one of the most successful prime ministers. Stay in power for that long. It was a long he was there for a long time. He supervised so many things. But it was only 10 years. But King Uzziah, 52 years in power. A teenager came to power. Hey! Amazing. You'll be there. You'll be there. Hmm. The next one, he was an inventor. He made engines. He made in Jerusalem engines. Invented by cunning men. To be on the towers. And upon the bulwarks. Hey, this man was wild though. Engines though. This is the first time we hear the word engine in the Bible. And his name spread abroad. So you be an inventor, somebody with innovations. And innovation is one of the keys to prosperity. In this book, he that has. He that has. And you can see all these books are innovations. Yes. All these books are innovations. You rarely find any of these titles anywhere. Some of them are the only one of this title in the whole world. Some not, but some are. Innovations. Have you ever heard of a book, One of You is a Devil? Yes. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a book, Those Who Leave You? Wow. As he sought the Lord. You see, God gives you ideas and inventions. New things. People have not done it before. You'll be doing it. Amen. And then the last one is that he was for his name spread abroad. For he was marvelously helped. You are going to be marvelously helped. Marvelously helped. God is going to send somebody to help you. Everybody needs a little help to get his life together. Everybody needs a little help to get his life together. Everybody needs a little help to get his life together. Everybody needs a little help to get his life together. Everybody needs a little help to get their lives together. Everybody needs a little hand that they can hold on to. He was marvelously helped. Everybody needs a little help to get their lives together. And I'm give it to you. Everybody needs a little help to get their lives together. How many need some help? You're no exception. You're no exception. Everybody needs a little hand that they can hold on to. Everybody needs a little help to get their lives together. And I want to give it to you. heard the news about you a little while ago I tried to call but you were at work I'm glad I caught you at home no one else in this whole wide world could mean as much as you to me so I thought I'd drop by for a little while in case you needed a Everybody needs a little help to get their life together You're no exception Everybody needs a little hand that they can hold on to Ooh. Everybody needs a little help
When Isaiah was ministering, all these guys are connected. Uzziah, Isaiah. I saw the Lord the day in the day King Uzziah died. I saw the Lord. This is the King Uzziah. He's called Azariah in the Kings. So you don't see his name, Uzziah, but it's the same Uzziah as Azariah. And I saw the Lord in the day in the year King Uzziah died. I saw the Lord. This is a guy. 52 years. Yes. 